So okay, let's look at the roll of PTFE tape that you can use to assist the seal on your PCP air gun. Typically in the UK, it's going to come marked as 12, 12 meters long by 12 millimeters wide and by a thickness of 0.075 millimeters. You can get it in, in uh, different size rolls, different widths and different thicknesses, but they're generally for specialist, more specialist applications, you know, if you're a plumber or work with hydraulics and that sort of thing. This is going to be the typical sort of stuff that you'd get from your local plumbers or engineering merchants. So there it is, it's typically white. Uh, don't ask me to pronounce the word what PTFE is an abbreviation of. If you'd like to know and all its applications on frying pans and in engineering and on cutlery etc please go on Wikipedia or somewhere. Uh, it's very tough really, it's quite strong if you've got it. Try and break it really for its, for its thickness. It's, uh, it's quite tough and if you get it down into a strand or you wind it up it's even harder to snap so your best when you're working with it have a sharp knife or a pair of scissors whoops scissors at hand so as you can trim it to the length that you require to try and keep it in the slot the best thing to do is hold it slightly off to one side with your thumb or finger and then keep a light tension on it. There's no need to pull it super uber tight. Just keep a, a light tension on it as you as you put it round, wind it round. When you've got on as much as you think is going to be enough for the job that you're undertaking, just snip it through and rub rub both the ends into the annular groove before you put the the o-ring on and that's it. So now I'll give an extreme example of using PTFE tape to solve PCP or air leaks in general on pneumatic products that you might have about the house. Right, we start there's one of the regulators and the outside case is about 27.4 and the o-ring stick out to about about 28 millimeters. So for an extreme example, if I fit a seal that is 3mm section as opposed to 3.53, this is the 3.53 and that's the 3mm, then obviously there's about a, a millimetre difference. So if we fit the incorrect seal onto the case, and as we looked before, the case is about 27.4mm, if I get onto the actual seal it's about 26.34 millimeters so there's no way that is going to seal uh, into the into the rig because it's lower than the height of the, of the actual case but just to make sure that that's correct we'll put this in and we'll give it a give it a blast so there we can see there's no way that is going to hold air in the reservoir at all so let's take it out and we'll see if that problem can be solved with some PTFE tape. Most times that you might have this problem on your air gun whether it's with a regulator or a new end cap or quite often it's on older PCP air guns and the seals might be so withered that you can't actually uh, measure them or you might not be able to measure a, a step down inside where the o-ring sits uh, and if you do live in the middle of nowhere like I know many of you do you're not all near to industrially built up areas like I am then 
it might not be practical practical for you to get measurements taken to get the correct seal so if you've got something that's about the right size then as we've already looked at PTFE tape can be a godsend so I think from previous experience about six turns of the PTFE tape should should do the job so that's one two three four five six right I'll trim that off with the scissors there we go right roll this seal back back on now as you can see that seal is now sticking out, protruding out past the side of the case like the correct size seal is at the front. So, fingers crossed, if we put it back, back in. I think this, that hissing is from, from that there, that's, that's that. But the actual major leak from the breathe holes, that's just stopped. So uh, you can use the PTFE tape just to increase the size of the, of the seal on the regulator body case or on your, uh, as we looked at earlier, on the valve case of your FX, Theoban, BSA, whatever you like, but just by a fraction. So if you've got a seal that's not quite the right size or the part's been modified or altered by somebody over the years, you know, putting it up to FAC or something and now the seals don't fit properly, then you can just pack it out a little bit with the, with the PTFE tape. Uh, I generally wouldn't recommend going as far as a millimetre like I have done on this, but this was an example I wanted to show you to the extreme. Normally, a couple of wraps of this will put it up you know put well what's that one millimeter two wraps of this is going to put it up probably about 0.2 millimeters so you don't need much of it and once the o-ring has actually stopped leaking and it's got a bite in the tube the air pressure pushes it into place and then after a few days of it being in place it's never going to move again in its in its lifetime so uh, job's done there you go so i hope that proves that you can use something as simple as ptfe tape just to do the job.